Good afternoon to my beautiful people. Today we have the Brandeis BU game. BU has won a game against Brown, and Brandeis also won a game against Brown on forfeit. So both these teams are ready to match up. Um, I think Brandeis has already beaten BU this past season. So BU is definitely going to be looking for a win here. Um, Brandeis is starting with quad ball, and we've got BU on the dodgeballs. I I'm curious if Brandeis is going to go for a dodgeball steal here, to be honest. All right, looks like we're about to start. <laughs> and we have the Brandeis band here, by the way, so if you hear them in the background, then be excited. All right, and we're going to start. Looks like Brandeis lets BU keep their dodgeballs. Fighter with the ball passes to Penny. Penny sneaks it to Fighter. Fighter going down the near side. Penn and Penny with a great pick. Passes it to Chase in the back. Chase it back to Fighter. Fighter, ball gets intercepted by, I believe, Sax. Sax is looking to make a fast break right now. Brandeis does have a dodgeball, though, so I think this is great. Yep, there we go. So I've been hopped for it. I believe that's Ethan Zillin with the quad ball for BU. Looking to go in the hoops. Sax goes for the shot. The shot is no good. It's back up top in the hands of 87. 87 goes for the shot. No good. That's going to end up in number 32 um, hands from Brandeis. Gasolati. There we go. Fighter bringing up the ball for Brandeis. Fighter going towards the middle. Guarded by two beaters. Passes it to Penny on the far side. Penny getting pressured by Checo from BU. Penny is going to pass it to Chaser behind who immediately gets, gets beat out. But Penny picks it up. Gasolati looking for the shot. Shot goes over. Brandeis Beater stops the ball from resetting and is back in the hands of Fighter. Great instinct by that Brandeis Beater. Fighter is looking for a shot, and that is going to be on the top hoop. First goal of the game by Brandeis. Made by Fighter for Brandeis. It looks like the name of Brandeis' game right now for offense is going to be taking as many shots as possible. Dylan with the ball for BU. Dylan passing it to Chaser87 on the near side. 87 looking for hoops. Passes it to Sax behind. Sax is going to pass it back to 87. 87 looking for the hoop. That is no good. No. It was called no good. Despite what the bench might think, that was called no good. Brandeis with the ball up top in fighter's hands. Fighters go, go behind on the far side, look for the goal, and dunk it right in over Sacks. That's going to be 20-0 Brandeis, the second goal scored by Fighter. BU does have dodgeball control though, so that is definitely a note in their favor. Who scored that? A fighter did. Number two. Dylan passes it to 87. 87 looking for the hoop, passes it to Sacks behind. Sacks looks for a pass back to 87. The shot goes in and it's called gold. That is going to be a goal from BU87. Um, Skiraba. Fighters looking to make a fast break. Gets wrapped up. Scassolati has it. Scassolati also wrapped up. Goal blocked by Dylan. Dylan now looking to make a fast break. Tied up. Brand Scassolati gets hands on that for Brandeis. And it's going back off of it. Uh, that was a turn of events. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. Scassoletti waiting for Fighter to get back into play. Guarded by um, Beater Mayer. Up to Fighter. Fighter to Penny on the far side. Penny's going to try to sneak behind. Fakes a pass. That's going to go to the chaser behind who's for Brandeis. Looking to shoot. Shot gets blocked by Skirava for BU. Dylan's going to look to run. Brandeis currently has no dodgeball. Dylan's getting faster. Passes it to Skirava. Skirava to Sax. Sax puts it in. Beautiful passing from BU. And that is going to be a score of 20-20. The score is tied. 
Score is 2020, right? Yeah, 2020. Fighters go bring up the ball for Brandeis. Looks like Sutton has subbed in at the beater front for Brandeis. Fighters go look at a shot pass, I guess? Brandeis Chaser tries to pick it up, but Skirabo from BU is able to pick that up. Back in the hands of BU keeper Dylan. Skiraba has the ball. Skiraba gets wrapped up, passes back to Dylan. Dylan pressured by fighter and a beater for Brandeis. Takes the reset, passes it to Checo. Checo dodges a beat, is looking for the shot, drops it, picked up by Skiraba. Skiraba looking for the shot, passes it to Checo. Checo's going to look for that shot. That is going to miss, and that is going to be picked up by Brandeis. And there is going to be a call on that play. And that is going to be a yellow card for Brandeis Chaser number 99, Caitlin Penny. BU has a very, I think it's going to have a very good scoring opportunity. I'm not sure where the quad ball is going to start on this play. So, net contact. Skier Rob is going to have the ball, open hoops. This should be an easy goal for BU. And there we go. Sirabo with another goal. 30-20 BU. Penny is back in since the goal kills the penalty. Brandeis has not had control for most of this game. Because honestly, I've always... I thought Brandeis had the stronger beaters. But BU's beaters are doing a great job keeping control. Fighter on the near side with the ball. Fighter fakes a pass. But keeps a hold of it. Fighter to Penny. Penny runs on the far side, tries to go towards the middle. That's going to go to Zalowitz, and Zalowitz is going to score, number 14. Dylan sees that there's no dodgeballs for Brandeis. It's going to look for a fast break. Skiraba is going to get that goal under pressure. Great pass. Great pass from Dylan. Great goal by Skaraba. That's going to bring our score to 40-30. 40-30, right? That is going to be BU on top right now in this game. Fighter is going to pass it to Brandeis number three. Brandeis number three coming up slowly on the near side. No fast break, buddy. Score go behind. Zalowitz is looking for the goal, pressured by Beater. Sachs is going to catch that ball and hold on to it for BU, though. Great stop by BU there. Dylan is guarded by Beater Brooks. Looks like we have a new Beater in for Brandeis, number 98. Dylan's going to pass it to Skiraba. Skiraba's going to get it knocked out by Fighter. Great job by Fighter there. Looks like we have Gunther subbing in for Keeper. Gunther looking on the far side. Passes it to Penny. Penny's going to pass it to Chaser number three. Chaser number three immediately gets beat. That was a great beat by BU there. Dylan's going to have the ball. Sees the opportunity for a fast break. Sutton closing in behind. Sax is looking for the goal. I don't know if anyone saw that, but I just saw clear research research. I'm just the cameraman, so I can't say anything. Where's Anywhere, dear. I just want to be able to see. I. 
don't think there's any call on this play. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. So the score is 40. Score is still 40 30, but you did not score there. Gunther bringing up the ball. That's going to go to Penny on the far side. Penny pressured. Back to Gunther. That's going to go to Zowitz. Zowitz to Penny. Penny to Gunther. Gunther pressured by Dylan from BU. Gunther looking on the near side now. Guarded by Peter Sutton. Gunther's going to pass it to Penny. Penny pressured by Checo. Pass to, or maybe a shot. Anyways, it ends up in BU hands. Looks like we have a new chaser coming in for BU number 55, Munsell. That's what the beater, that's what the shirt says at least. I can't always trust the shirt on that. Dylan bringing up the ball for BU. Passes it to Munsell. Ball gets knocked out by Zalas, but Dylan's able to pick it back up. Dylan's going to look for chaser number 99. Back to Dylan. That's going to go to Chaser on the far side, wrapped up by Penny. Penny gets beat out by Brooks. Munsell's going to pass it to Dylan. Dylan looks like um, they're trying to reset the offense here. Pass to number 99 on the near side. Pass behind hoops by BU. The BU Chaser gets beat out. Great stop by Brandeis there. And we're going to have a stop on that play. Scores 40-30 still, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks like there's no call on the play. Yep, no call on the play. Ball's in the hands of Brandeis keeper Gunther. Brandeis still does not have control in this dodgeball game. I, I think if they want to... Start taking the lead here. That's what they're going to need their beaters to do. Looks so like we have some new studs for Brandeis in the game. Gunther taking it slow up top. Fakes a pass behind. Pass goes to Bixby up for Brandeis. Bixby pressured up top by BU Beater. Passes it back to Gunther. Gunther being pressured by Munsell. Looks for the shot. Shot is called no good. Ball goes out of bounds. That is going to be BU ball. Looks like Munsell has the ball for BU. Passes it off to Dylan. BU setting up in the diamond formation. Dylan's going to pass it to Munsell. Munsell looking to drive, perhaps? Yes. Gets, goes behind. Looks like there's going to be a call on this play. I think there's some confusion over whether or not Munsell was beat. So the refs are going to sort that out right now, I believe. Yes, that's going to be in Brandeis' hands in fighter. He's currently chasing. Um, Gunther, now in Gunther's hands, keeper for Brandeis. Gunther, guard by Brandeis Beater 66. Rachel, save, save, save. Going to pass it to Chaser number 12. I can't tell who that is. Talk, Brady. Brady, talk. Big standstill there on the near side. Number 12 score, run behind hoops. Go for the shot, slash pass. Pass is going to get picked up by Gunther. Gunther pressured by Munsell from BU. Passes to Brandeis Chaser number three. Number three passes it to another Brandeis Chaser. Near the hoop, but it's beat out by BU. Great stop by that BU theater there.
Dylan's going to pass it to Donahue. Send it, send it. Donahue's going to send it to Chaser in the back. Back to Donahue on the near side. Donahue gets beat out. Um, and that's going to roll out of bounds. That's going to be a Brandeis ball. Good ball movement by BU there. That one just, that last pass just was a little too high. Fighter is going to look for the shot. That gets blocked by Srivasan. Yeah, Srivasan. Srinivasan. Thank you. Fighter is going to pass it to Hyams. Hyams going up the near side. No pressure by BU on Hyams right now. I'm surprised. All right. Srinivas is going to pass it to Gunther in the back. Gunther looking to drive, but there's a BU beater right there. That's going to go to Brandeis Chaser. Back to Gunther. Gunther's looking to shoot. Gunther gets it in despite all the pressure there. Great goal by Gunther. Score is going to be 40-40 now. First goal in a while, honestly, from either side. That's going to tie up the game. Hemel is now keeping for BU. It's going to start up top with the ball. Himmel to Munsell. Munsell sneaking on that far side. Goes back up top, passes it to Himmel. Himmel pressured by Gunther, goes for the shot. Shot gets blocked. Donahue tries to get it, but Fighter is ultimate, ultimately in Fighter's hands. <laughs> There's now a fight for that ball. Brandeis is going to win. It was a 2v1, so I'm not too surprised. Um, and Gunther now has the ball for Brandeis. Gunther's going to pass it to Fighter on the near side. Fighter still with the ball. Back to Gunther up top. Gornish is going to beat out BU Chaser. Very nice Chaser passes it to Gunther up top. Gunther has a beater right next next to him. But Weiss is going to guard Gunther. Fighter now has the ball, taking it very slow, waiting for Gornish to get back in. Gunther has the ball on the far side. Munsell looking to press, passes it to Fighter. Fighter looking for the shot, probably, but that's going to go out of bounds. That is going to be in BU hands now. Little, Brandeis was showing great patience there until that shot. I don't know if they had to go for that shot, to be honest, but looks like we have a lot of people subbing in for BU right now. Almost the whole new line. We're going to have a timeout to find glasses. The score is sitting at 40-40. This has been a really close game so far. Seems like BU's really been preparing for this game against Brandeis. Yeah. Dylan has the ball. Passes it to Munsell. Munsell passes it to Dylan. Dylan passes it to Packard on the near side. Packard looks to shoot. Serena Va Vasan in the back has the ball, looks for the shot, doesn't go in, but Dylan's able to get hands on it. Dylan, pressured by the brain dice beater, goes for the shot. Serena Vasan picks it up. Serena Vasan pressured by like three brain dice chasers. Somehow still has the ball. Brain dice finally gets the ball from Serena Vasan. And Gunther has the ball. Gunther with the ball, escorted by Mayer. Gunther passes it to number 12 on the far side. Number 12 passes it to Fighter in the back. Fighter tries to get around BU Chasers. Pass shot to Gunther. Gunther's able to get control of that. That was impressive. Gunther looks for a shot. Richardson's going to look to beat Gunther, but is unsuccessful. Gunther looks for the pass back to Fighter. Fighter dodges a beat. Fighter looks for a pass to Brandeis Chaser, who immediately gets beat out. But Gunther has the ball for Brandeis. 
Gunther looks for a shot. Shot is no good. It's going to go over the line. That's going to be a BU ball now. Let's work BU! BU with control. Dylan has the quad ball for BU. Dylan passes it to Packard. Packard pressured by Gunther, passes it back to Dylan. Dylan looking at Packard again. To chase, BU Chaser in the back. BU Chaser getting pressured. Packard gets the ball, passes it back to Dylan. Great passing by BU there. Way to save that. Goes for the shot, Fighter's going to block that. Packard's going after Fighter. And that's going to be in Brandeis hands. Back up into it, it's not a card. I believe that's going to be number 12 with the ball, quad ball for Brandeis. Fighter looks for the shot and makes it. Score is going to be 50 40. Brandeis. Finally taking a lead in this game. Munsell's subbing out. Munsell's been out there for a while, so. Looks like number 71 is replaced Munsell. Dylan bringing up the ball for BU. Oh my god. Dylan has the ball up top to Packard. Packard passes it behind. Great decision there. BU Chase is going to get beat out, and yep, that's going to turn over to Brandeis. I don't think there's going to be a card, but that was definitely playing after beat. <laughs> All right, Zalowitz has the ball for Brandeis. Zowitz passes it to number 12, I believe, Hyams. Back to Zowitz. Zowitz looking to go for a drive. Goes for the shot. That's where he's going. Great shot by Zowitz there. Shooting has really worked for Brandeis this game. Score is now going to be 60-40. Um, that was Andre Zowitz that scored that. That's going to be number 14. Um, what's the time? We are at 1933. Looks like one of the teams called for a timeout. I'm not sure which one. BU called for a timeout. I think they see that they're two goals behind. I think this is going to be the pep talk. This is going to be, hey, we lost a couple goals there, but we can bring this back. I think going to the Brandeis side, I think they see what they're doing. They're doing a good job. Um, their chasers have done a very good job being patient on offense. Their shots have looked pretty good. I think their beaters is, game is where they need to improve it. They need to start making more plays for control. I think that's where they're really hurting right now. But they're also up by two, so if they keep doing what they're doing, then theoretically they should win this game. <laughs> And you can hear the Brandeis band in the back playing some music for us. We appreciate them. We love them. We're glad they came out. All right, and timeout is over.
20 minutes approaches. And after 20 minutes, the flag runner will be released. Looks like right now, the state of the field is BU has quad ball and both dodgeballs. Quad ball in the hands of Dylan's, dodgeballs in the hands of Brooke and French. All right, Dylan has the ball guarded by Beaters, French, and Brooks. Goes to Sachs. Sachs back to Dylan. Dylan passes it to BU Beater on the far side. Back to Dylan. Sutton goes for a tackle on Brooks. It's unsuccessful. Dylan looking to drive. Passes it to Sachs. Sachs guarded by Penny. Passes it to number 21. 21 goes for the shot. And that's going to be a great goal by number 21 before the 20-minute mark. Let's do let's do number twenty one justice. Um, Kai Suyama is twenty one. He scored that goal. Yes, that was a goal. Yes, you pause it. So the state of the game is sixty fifty. Brandeis is up one. Um, when BU played Brown, Brown was able to get the catch. So that's the information I have on how the secret game score go. But yeah, I, this is, I don't think I even need to say this. This is any team's game. BU's definitely improved since the last time they played Brandeis. Great defense from both teams. I think that's a shout out here. The defense on both sides have just been getting stop after stop. BU beaters have been dominating this game. Although Brandeis beaters have been making plays. They just haven't had control a lot. I personally think Brandeis chaser line looks a lot better in the half court. There's been a surprising lack of fast breaks this game, to be honest. But as I said, the defense has been incredible, and that's what I would attribute this game to. Um, in terms of what the team should do with beaters on the Seeker game, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think the buff, I believe, is going to be seeking again. I'm, I'm going to be flag running. I think that team, both teams will probably try to assign their beaters to that flag runner. I think. Three goals in a game this close is just huge. And I think, um, I love Mason. I think he is a catchable um, flag runner, though. So I would prioritize catching flag here. Also, peep the pet bands. We love the Brandeis pet band. Best part of this game. And we are back and better than ever. State of the game right now is BU has dodgeball control. Although, Beater Sutton for Brandeis is right near both those beaters. Might try to make a play. Probably get beat out, though. Looks like we're going to have Scassoletti and Packard beating. Scassoletti for Brandeis. Is that how you say your name? Scassoletti. Scassoletti. I apologize. Scassoletti for Brandeis. And we have Packard um, seeking for BU. Score 60-50. Brandeis in the lead with one goal. Set score is going to be 120. Brandeis starts with the ball. In the hands of Zalowitz. Zalowitz to Penny on the near side. Seekers at Ben Luis Ruiz. Penny's going to pass it to Fighter in the back. Fighter looks for the shot. That barely goes in. Great shot by Fighter there. That's going to bring the score to 70-50. Um, 
Dylan's looking to make a fast break. Dylan's shot gets blocked by Zalowitz. But number 87, Gory picked that up in school. Skiraba. That's going to be 70 60. Burnday's still holding on to the lead here. And I was right. Looks like the beaters are on the flag runner right now. Um, I don't know where the quad ball is right now. Oh, looks like Fighter has it, bringing up the far side. Fighter looking to dunk it. Pass it to Zalowitz. Zalowitz scores it on the top hoop. That is going to be 85th. Sorry. Let's go, Dylan! Scores 80 60 now. Brandeis just running away with no dodgeballs in BU's game, or BU's quad ball game right now. Um, Zalowitz. Number 14, yeah. Dylan has the ball for BU. Dylan to Skiraba. Skiraba looking to dunk. This is the dunk. Fighter score picked that up for Brandeis. Unfortunate for BU there. Fighter looking to fast break. Skiraba score catch up to Fighter. And wow, Skiraba with the defensive play there. The Fighter is able to pick it back up. That's going to go to Zalowitz. Dylan's going to pick that up. Another fast break attempt. Sutton is right there though. And Dylan is going to get that goal in for BU. Great fast break by Dylan there. That's going to be 80 70. That has been a lot more fast break than we fast break attempts than we've seen at this game lately. But that's what happens when you commit your dodgeballs to the seeker. Penny starting with the ball for Brandeis. Gunther sneaking up behind. French pressuring fighter. Penny's going to look to dunk perhaps. Passes it to Gunther. Gunther's going to look for the shot on the top hoop. That is going to go in. That is going to be 90 70. Brandeis in the lead. The teams are just exchanging goals back and back. Dylan with the ball for BU. Dylan on the near side, passes it to Skaraba. Skaraba, wow! I thought Skaraba was going to drop that there, but Skaraba just picked it up and put it in. That is going to be 90-80. And we're going to have a stoppage. I think a discussion about what the Flag runner is doing. Yeah, I think there's no card on either team here. I think there's a discussion about the flag runner. Um, I think some of the flag runner rules are being broken right now. So. Score is 90-80 right now, by the way. Brandeis is in the lead right now with one point. What are you going in, Ben? I'm not. My knee's spread. Oh, no. It's okay. Looks like we're having a stoppage for a rule check, I think. So yeah, this game is really close. Um, a lot of what I said before halftime still applies now. Close game. That flag runner is going to matter a lot. I think that's, that's why there's a lot of commotion right now. Yeah. It's not against the rules. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Right, yeah. I think it was It's at 9080. Um, it turns out we might have a potential um, flag runner catch. I think that's what's being talked about right now. I'm going to turn to the Brandeis Pep Band because maybe they'll treat us with a nice song. like we're about to get a call on this play. I just saw the arms go out. All right, Brandeis wins with the catch there. Um, the sc final score is 125 to 80. Thank you for watching.